What happened to you last week? Well, I was uh, going to New York. I was invited to lead Friday prayers at one of the mosques in New York. I was also due to lecture in a couple of events, and I was going to shop and see a few family members, including my niece, who I haven't seen for a long time. Yeah. When I arrived at the airport, after going through all the security checks and everything at the gates, a U.S. official came up to me and said to me, your visa has been revoked, you can't travel. When I asked why, he did not say the reason. When I pushed him a bit more, he said to me, maybe you've done something wrong, and walked away with a smile on his face. Have you travelled to America before? Yes, I've been four times at least this year. Yeah. I've been given a 10-year visa. It's called B1 and B2 business visa, and you yep. can go there and as many times as you like. Have you ever had even the hint of a problem getting in? We know that the American authorities over there can be quite, uh, how to Jittery. put it? Yeah, yeah. Ab about lots of different people. Have you ever had any problems either this end or that end? No, you? not substantial. I mean, there is one problem that we all face, which is called flying while Muslim. Wherever you go, you get extra security just because you're Muslim. Mm. You've come to learn to live with it. I understand that part. But what we are worried about now is this, begin is this the beginning of a trend where all Muslims are being excluded from entering America. If this is true, then Donald Trump's crazy idea the other day... He's not even in the, power. Not even received one vote has already already been enacted and that's very worrying and secondly this is not winning hearts and minds or friends it's just making everybody become upset and, and bitter about it in your particular case you have been invited to the US embassy you've had a meeting there did you get any explanation for why when you went there? Well, after media got involved and a lot of Twitter and very other, other storm happened, they got in touch with me saying, come in, we need to fix it. I went to, to see them on Monday. They didn't fix anything. They asked me, this is your chance to give us your side of the story. What story? I asked them. Mm. I don't have a story. You tell me why you've revoked my visa. They could not give me a conclusive answer. It's vague. You know what they said, which is very strange. They said, we will investigate. We may come to you. We may not come to you. The only way you can find out is by applying for another visa. And and knowing whether you can go to America ever again. To me, that is crazy. You can't behave like this. You cannot treat ordinary people like this. They are saying, they're saying one simple thing. In this kind of action, they're saying all Muslims are terrorists. And that's not true. Who are you cross with about this, aside from Donald Trump? Because you are in a position, you are an imam, you work in Wood Green, you have spoken out, you've been backed by the government to speak out about radicalization and anti-radicalization. Well, I'm not sure about backing of the government, but I certainly have spoken out. But I've spoken out. I'm living with a death threat now from one of the extremist groups because I've spoken out after mm. Lee Rigby's murder. Mm. Many of us have spoken out because we believe in creating one world in which we all share, we understand the world, and we create an environment of no fear. What America has done is enacted a policy out of fear, knee-jerk reaction, disproportion that is not needed. We need to converse. So if the embassy or the Homeland Security got in touch with me before my flight and asked me a few questions, and if they were not sure, that could have been answered. But no, at the last minute, revoke it. Why? What are you going to do now about this very briefly? Well, I'm not going to uh, accept it lying down. Mm -hmm. I'm a little man when it comes to a big giant country called America or an administration, mm -hmm. but I intend to fight back. I intend to raise it through yourselves, such as media, get the MPs involved. I'm calling also on the Prime Minister that he is the Prime Minister of all people of this country, mm -hmm. not just Muslims or non-Muslims, everybody. If Muslims are being discriminated, singled out as a people when they're going to America, that's wrong, that's rotten, and he needs to do something about it. And sec thirdly, I'm going to launch campaign. In that campaign, we're going to work together to get America and its administration to rethink their policy. To me, it's losing more friends than winning anything.